Welcome to Weft and Willow Fiber Art Studio. I'm Rebecca. And so this is the second video in my series about organizing for creative success. And what I'm using is my own studio as a format uh, for these videos and for the Patreon. And uh, I have created paperwork for you to uh, follow along with me uh, for your own space and your own projects. And so what I've created is paperwork for a three ring binder and uh, you'll be able to print off pages that are specific to the types of creative projects you work on. And I've created tags that you can print out on hardstock paper uh, that you can label things. And so you'll have documentation of where things are, <laughs> what process you're involved with it, and you'll be able to look at that and come back to it. Okay, so you'll find that link at the bottom of the video. Now it's on my website. And uh, then you'll be able to enjoy seeing all of my mess in my studio. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff. And my first video goes into why I've decided to do that. I'm accepting myself as a hoarder of creative uh, tools and materials. And uh, then I have three books that I recommend um, to go along with this. And uh, so that is the first video. Okay, and this one gives a little tour, shows some of my messes, and, uh, and you can see as I clean all of this up and rearrange it. So as we come into my studio right now, it's still in chaos and <laughs> I'm still in the organizing uh, part of all of this. But what I wanna do is kinda of show you where I am right now. So school ended and I had a few weeks to get started on this before we took a little trip away. And uh, so now I'm really going in and um, trying to fine tune it and getting everything set up. And so in here, I have a few looms, and then this is my natural die setup. So I have a table that goes outside that I can hook up to a stove, um, not, not a stove, uh, a um, hose for water. And then I have um, extra um, storage over here, and then some just cute little things that are from, um, you know, my interests with fiber arts. And so this I finally organized a bit and, uh, you know, I've got all of my, my tools ready to go here and this feels good now. This feels like it doesn't feel as chaotic. It's still <laughs> a lot of stuff, but it's tools that I need. So as we walk in, I have here is my list. So this is a list I was talking about before that shows my priorities of where I need to organize and what I'm doing. And so I, you know, numbered them in order. So this is the big thing. This is what this video is really about is deciding what is kind of your frog that you need to eat first, right? So my sewing area over here it's kind of my main area of, of setting things up and projects. And so I wanted to get that cleaned up right away. And so then I tried to do a number system of each day, what I was gonna do. And then I all, also added little notes that I was gonna um, kind of do um, further today. And then, so these are some of my project bins that I'm going to label. And I am gonna go into this in another video, but this is based off of different uh, types of projects. So this first one is quilt projects. These are different bag projects. And uh, I'll go into that in another video. But so some of these bins, I'm still gonna be filling uh, for my yarns, cause that's a big thing today is I'm organizing my yarns, which I do every so often. Uh, and then my, so this is my sewing station. I try and have things set up so that it is ready to go. I like having my tools ready here, so I'm just grabbing them right away. 
my sewing set up here. And then my table, right? <laughs> so now I have, you know, my equipment out for uh, this video here. And this is my UFO binder that I'm going to be going into. And uh, we'll, we'll see that in uh, a future video. But this is, this is my, like, really important uh, project right now is this right here. It has all the info. And then I set up my station over here, uh, desktop area. This is the container that has all of the different bags I'm using uh, for storing of things. And then I've been going through and I organized all of my cottons. So I have quilting is also an interest of mine. And now bag making again, is, I've come back to that. So combining my weavings with my fabric. And then I have some of my yarns up in here. And then these are mostly yarns down in these containers that were hiding before behind a bench. <laughs> so people didn't know how much yarns I had. Then down here, I have my, let's see, my uh, fabrics. So one container has my garment fabric. One has my garments fabrics with the patterns um, in a bag that I want to sew. And then this is another garment pattern or just garment fabric. Uh, these are Jersey fabrics and then another garment uh, container or solids. So I'm going to be adding labels to these because I think that is really important so that I know what I have there. And then these bins, I'm going to try and refine, but these are going to be for my yarns. Some of them are already there, but I really don't like the look of having so many bins, right? So being able to not have it, that is kind of a goal for me, right? So it's partly why I'm going through everything because I have <laughs> more bins up here and I have more yarns down here, right? So I've got a chore today to do with all of that. And then I've got uh, some of my weaving tools that I'm going to refine and make this little, uh, little uh, traveling cart be better for weaving so I can bring it to whatever loom that I'm using. And so I've got my looms set up in different locations here. I've got my quilt wall set up with some of my projects I'm working on. Um, I got permission from my landlords to do that because I want to be able to have my items stand out more on them. That brick doesn't necessarily go with, with the kind of visual with this. Uh, at my local mall, a store was going out of business and selling off their equipment. So I got this thing for $15. It's on wheels. <laughs> so that was pretty fantastic. And then I got this for $10. And look, I can start hanging and selling my own clothes that I have sewn. And that really felt really good. That felt like you know, one of those things of, okay, I am letting go. This is a great direction. I can now add this as part of what I'm doing with my, with my projects. And uh, so that feels good to get this more set up. I've got hang tags that I just ordered. And so I'll be able to hang all of my little individual bags up here. And that is just more obvious that this is stuff for sale. So if people come and visit, they can take a look at that and they won't feel as bad about asking, is this for sale, <laughs> right? Because I've got so much stuff in here, right? It's hard to know what is and what isn't. Um, so, then downstairs, I've got uh, more, more looms, imagine that. And I have my uh, spinning wheels and my, um, these are, these two here are weasels. So they are, you wind your yarn onto these after you spin them. This is my new, my new baby here. Haven't used it yet. And so I'm excited. I've been practicing the Peter Collingwood 
uh, weaving patterns um, on my little loom. And so now I will be able to go along with this. And then my workbench down here, it always gets messy. And so one of the things I'll be doing is also writing down my woodworking projects. What do I have to do? <laughs> what can I finish up? And uh, then some looms down here, my friend's loom over here. And so, you know, I've got a little bit more stuff to kind of go through. And I have uh, this loom here that's going to be used for my weaving classes. And so I've got 12 of these piles, 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 and more looms. And here we go. We've got more of the looms in here. I also have a loom that I'm going to piece back together. I have a video from last year that I took this loom apart. And so what I'm going to do is start putting that back together and, uh, and kind of finishing that up because it's taking up real estate, right? It's taking up this space here and then this in here. And it's just, it wants to be alive again. And I'm going to be quilting somebody's quilt here soon. So I'm going to clean this off today as well. And so I've been enjoying doing that for people. And yeah, so this is my studio. Okay, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.